We are back in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen and we're having some fun. According to a recent study, 93% of Americans love pancakes. That number's probably a little bit higher. Now with that, we decided to bring in a local chef to share a recipe that everyone is sure to enjoy. We are welcoming to the show this morning the culinary director for The Place to Be, Chef Xavier Santiago. Thanks so much for being with us and joining us here on The Morning Show. Good morning, just having me. Well, pancakes are king at my house. I have made blueberry, banana, chocolate chip, uh, strawberry, and even cinnamon bun swirl. But you're going to show me uh -huh. something. It's going to blow everybody away, right? Well, we hope so. We have super creative pancakes and making brunch fun. So that's what we're doing today. All right. And we're actually going to be doing this together. So yeah. you're going to walk us through. You dropped up some ingredients earlier. So we're all set. So you lead the way, Xavier. All right. So um, you should have a mixing bowl. Yep, got it. Check. In, yes. In the mixing bowl, you're going to do your flour. So in the mix, you have flour, yeast, sugar, and baking powder. All so right. Gonna, That's going in now. Then you want to add about half the cup of the milk you already have. So that mixture is milk and an egg. All right. So don't add all of the mixture that I have here. Yeah, do about half. Okay. That mixture also has salt. And the okay. mixture of milk has egg and vanilla in it. All right, got it. You want to mix it in. Start mixing, whisking away. Whisk away. If it's too thick, add more water. I mean, add, add more milk. Gotcha. You don't want it to be too, too, too loose. Okay. So the trick about this recipe is the, the pancake mix has to sit overnight. All right. So that, that's what makes the pancake super fluffy and flavorful. Oh, what, what is it about letting it sit? That does it. What well, happened overnight, all, all, all the um, ingredients mix together, and then the yeast is able to react a lot better. Okay. And when you put it at the room temperature, it just starts to react a lot faster. So, all right. you so it, it. Needs, it needs that resting period. And we have some of the batter that's already rested right here. Yes, yes. Okay. So in the pan, I want you to add the butter to the pan. Okay, got that. Add the butter to the pan, which is then it's hot. I can't see what you're doing, so I'm hoping your pan is hot. Well, it's on medium heat. I'm going to crank it up just a little bit more here as the belt, as the butter starts to melt. Now, once your butter starts to melt, you want to add the mix of the already made pancake mix. All right. All right, you got to pour that in. Just letting my butter melt a little bit more here and get it ready. Now, do a lot of people use butter when they're doing pancakes? I feel like a lot of people probably use that spray. You just, you, you, you think the butter is the best, right? Butter adds flavor, mm -hmm. it adds fat to the pancake, and the spray has too many chemicals. So I'd rather go with butter or coconut butter. Right, okay, tried and true. Let's go natural. All right. Yes. I just dropped my first pancake. Awesome. So, but you're looking when your, your pancakes, it's gonna, have, it's gonna have the bubble in the middle, yeah. and that's where you flip. That's a but signal before, to flip. Exactly. But before we flip, we're gonna add our, our crumble Oreos on the side. Oh, okay. So we can start adding the, the, the Oreos right to the top, as if you would if you were making blueberries, right? Blueberry. Blueberries uh... or strawberries, same, same idea. Okay. I know the kids are gonna love this one. It's something they can get into, you can, you can involve them, and they always love that. Listen, it's cookies and cream. You, you can't go wrong. You know? No, it's my favorite ice cream, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite ice cream, favorite cookie. Absolutely. Right. Like the I think my pan <laughs> wasn't quite hot enough. No bubbles yet. <laughs> but you know what? While this is sort of warming up, I have to ask you about the restaurants. They are just wildly successful. And the name really tells the story. The place to be is really the Definitely. place to be right now. It is just like the most Instagram, one of the most Instagrammable restaurants in at least central Connecticut. So we are known for the food, we are known for the drinks, and definitely known for the vibe. We have three locations, which is South End on Franklin Avenue, um, downtown Hartford, Constitution Plaza, and then we just opened up with Hartford Blue Black Square, and it's incredible. Um, you said Instagram, and that's exactly what we, 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 we give you that vibe. The drinks are incredible. I, I, I believe you have some in the studio. Uh, well, you have the cups in the studio. <laughs> But well, we specialize in like different like creative um, drinks, creative um, coffees. So it's very driven, a very driven brand. And here we have a picture of some of the drinks, and that's just one of the things that makes it so Instagramable, so to speak, with the with the 
bath duckies in the drinks and also the big bathtub drinks and also the bottomless mimosas. Yes. Now, each of your locations, you mentioned them all, Franklin, downtown Hartford, and then also Blueback Square, they all have a different vibe to them. Now, was that intentional or is that something that just sort of evolved? Because they, as I said, they all sort of have a different vibe to them. I think the idea of the brand is to remain fresh. Like you have breakfast in South Bend, it's more like a home and neighborhood restaurant. Mm -hmm. You have um, restaurant, you eat in downtown, it's more like a very New York vibe. And then you go to um, West Hartford, it's more like you're Philippine in Boston. Yeah. So I think all locations give you a different vibe, but the same food. Yeah, they're all right. You have the chill location, you have the party location, and then you kind of have like the family exactly. friendly location, which is where I exactly. go to, with the kids at Franklin Avenue. The original, we like the OG. All right, so I'm starting to get some bubbles, so I'm going to try and flip this here. And you know what? There we go. It's a, maybe a little <laughs> bit undercooked still. <laughs> this is a new pan. I'm just feeling out how the heat works right, with this right. new pan, so bear with me. But you know what? We've got some really great ones that you dropped off here. Yes. These are amazing. They're massive. And again, that's part of the appeal is everything is just such a wow factor at the place to be. Now I'm going to add some chocolate here. It's not going to look as good as yours will at the restaurants. And we do have a couple pictures of the final product that we can pop up. I have to imagine it probably would add some extra Oreos, throw some yeah. strawberries on there. If we do have time, we're wanna, I want to pop up that picture that we have, which is what the final product looks like, because it is just sort of jaw-dropping. I don't know if Bill, our producer, can get that up. But here, okay, those are the drinks. We do have a picture of the final product. I'm going to do my best here with adding some, <laughs> some whipped cream and then add some extra chocolate sauce at the end here. So you want to just drizzle the sauce on top and the whipped cream and just go for it. Just go for it. That's what it's all about at the place to be, right? Yeah, just go for it, have fun, and just come to enjoy the whole vibe while we do, you know? Absolutely. All right. Well, Chef, thanks so much for being with us. All The recipe, all the information is going to yes. be on our website for folks to check out. And uh, I'm just going to dive right into this little whipped cream mountain that I made for myself and it's strawberry. And this, this pancakes will be available starting tomorrow. So we're going to have all your pancakes churro french toast and we're also going to have this incredible sandwich called ruben the cuban which is a mix with a cuban ruben sandwich all right new additions awesome thanks so much chef great to have you on the show